graph using the slope and the y-intercept, f of x equals negative two-thirds x minus one. Now, when we use the slope and the y-intercept, we of course first have to determine the slope and the y-intercept. The y-intercept is found from the negative one, which is b, so zero, negative one is the y-intercept, and we can plot that. The slope is negative two-thirds. Now when we use that to plot, to, to graph the slope, to graph using the slope, we're going to write this as either negative two over three or two over negative three, which helps us count out the rise and the run. Thinking of the slope as negative two over three, we start at the y-intercept. We go down two for the negative two rise, and we go to the right three for the positive three run, and we put a dot there. Or if we think of the slope as two over negative three, we can again start at the y-intercept and go up two for a positive two rise, and to the left three for a negative three run and put a dot there, and all three dots line up. So we can draw a line through them, which is the graph of the function, and label it f of x equals negative 2 thirds x minus 1.